Hi, how's it going today? We're coming on live. We've got our Instagram up and our Facebook up. Hi. Hi, Sophia, Rihanna. How's your morning treating you? So for our practice today, we're going to focus on kindness. So I'm just gonna wait for a few of you to join in and hi, Francis. How's it going? Good. So if you wanna get ready and get on your mat, take a seated pose. Hi, Micheline. Kim, good morning. Good to see you guys. Glad you can join me this morning. So we're going to get started on our mats today in the seated pose. So if you want to go ahead and do that. Hi, Susan, Kim, Susie. All right, so let's get going. What do you say? Let's uh, come into a seated pose. Any cross leg easy pose or anything that a modification might help you today, always keep in mind that you're free to take those modifications. Just make sure that you're honoring your body and your movement today. As we arrive on our mat, we're gonna bring a focus in to our breath and arrive in our breath again and again. You might wanna just close your eyes for a moment and really take a moment to feel that breath. Possibly taking one of the hands over your heart, the other hand over your lower belly, and just practice feeling in with the breath. Feel that sense of expansion on your inhale as you breathe through your nasal passages. And then that journey in towards the center as you exhale. And do it with a, an intention of just feeling kind towards yourself. So today we are focusing on hustling in some kindness. So you're feeling a sense of being strong with yourself. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Dee. And you're going to make sure that you're feeling throughout the practice today that you are intentionally expanding that sense of kindness in yourself. And through that kindness, we start to feel stronger and more motivated to really do things and make a difference. So we're all here together doing this together, our resident yoga. Thank you Four Corners Yoga for making this possible. And keep welcoming yourself, welcoming a expansion of kindness in your body as you continue to take about five more deep breaths before we move on. Again, you can close your eyes if that makes you feel comfortable. Again, that sense of expanding on an inhale, expanding kindness, expanding all the sensations that feel good to you, and then following and directing your breath inward as you exhale, and just connecting to you and to your body and your mind in a kinder, more soft way here. Two more breaths. Keep arriving in a kinder space as you breathe. When you finish this next breath, you can go ahead and place your hands on your lap. And let's just do a couple of half rolls of the neck. Just let the head drop down in front of you, bringing one of your ears over the top of your shoulder and then down and to the other side. So our practice today, like I said, is an intention of really hustling and inspiring that kindness muscle in our bodies and in our minds. Where does kindness feel like it expands in you? Where does it come from? Is it a mind thing for you? Is it a heart thing? Where do you feel like kindness really 
lands for you today. So just as you're rolling your head and neck a few times, just drive into some of that. The next time your right ear comes over your right shoulder, I'll have you just stay there, let that head get a little heavier, and then pick up your right hand and hold on to the edge of your top left shoulder, and just palpitate behind there, give yourself a little massage, gently tug on those muscles that bind the left neck to the left shoulder. And then drop your right elbow a little bit lower and then lower your head towards that right elbow. And you'll go ahead and stay where you are, but lift your chin and look up at the ceiling. Head is still leaning to the right. Just notice how good that feels to pause right here. And then drop the head down to center as your right hand comes down. And when you're ready, left ear hanging over the left shoulder. Let it get a little heavier here, shoulders relaxed. Pick up your left hand and hold on to the top of your right shoulder now and just palpitate, massage here, especially where the neck connects to the shoulders. And then drop that left elbow as you hold a little pressure at the top of the shoulder and let your head fall towards your left elbow. Take a breath here and let it go. Good. Look up at the ceiling, lift your chin. Your head is still leaning to the left as you pause here for a breath. And then we'll let our head come down and hands back on your lap. Good. Let's just stir our heart around a few times so you're coming into movement in that mid-thoracic spine. Some of you can start to make it a little bigger. And then pause all the way back, holding onto your knees. Drop your head and expand the shoulder blades. And feel the space right at the back of the heart where your shoulder blades come apart. Take a breath there. And then sit up tall, press down on the top of the knees and look up, pulling the shoulder blades back. So now you're squeezing the spot that you just expanded a moment ago. Good, and then back to a tall spine, and we'll go into some side bends. Just take your time when you're ready. Floating the arms with deep breaths over your head, and then exhaling into your side bends. So just preparing here, noticing how you're feeling today, how you're arriving in this time on your mat that we're sharing. Connecting again to the breath and expanding the intention of being kind to yourself in this practice. To hustle up and strengthen that kindness muscle, whatever that means for you. Hands are going to stay over your head and pause for a moment. Let's lace up the fingers nice and tall over your head and then reach up through the palms. Take a breath here, and then bend the elbows and push to the back of the room as you look up. Exhale. Good, inhale up tall over your head, and then exhale to a C curve. So we're opening up through the back of the shoulder blades again as we push forward with our palms. Inhale up, stretch as tall as you can, and then exhale behind you as you look up. So we're trying to get those elbows and hands to pull back. Inhale up again, right back into a C curve when you're ready to exhale. Push a little further away from you, back of the heart opens. And then inhale up again, and last time back. <sighs> when you're ready, lace those hands up behind your head, hold on on either side of the neck with your thumbs, and then let the head just pause back. Take a moment here, breathe in a full breath of kindness. Exhale, two more. So we're in the midst of dealing with a contagion that seems to be overwhelming our thoughts and our actions right now. And that's not bad. We need to be aware of what's going on surrounding us. But I'm gonna ask you to hustle that kindness strength in you today 
and explore how we can not make kindness a contagion that we focus on as well to counteract some of the fear, the unknowing, the overwhelming feelings that we have. So hands up over your head, stretch the wrists around, and then we'll bring our hands together in front of our heart. And just take a moment to lace up those hands and tumble your wrists around. So the challenge throughout practice is to remind yourself to be kind to every moment that you're experiencing your body. So if something doesn't feel right, be compassionate and kind and see how you might move or modify to make it feel better. Shake it out. And let's come onto our hands and knees. When you're ready, take your time. Knees are right underneath your hips. Hands are spread out as wide as you can. Fingertips spread out and then sort of press the pads of the fingers in and then we're just gonna take a few swings right to left, making sure we feel nice and big in that breath as we continue. Expanding the breath, expanding that awareness of how we're feeling. Coming back into table, dropping your head with a good shake and then starting cow cat when you're ready. Deep breath as the head and tailbone lifts. And a long exhale, driving the core up to the spine as your chin comes back to the chest. And then cow. Let's just do a few more of these. You all can appreciate this cow cat flexion and extension on your back. And you know how good that feels. Just warming up your spine. Take time for one more. Take your time. Hold cat a little longer. Toes are going to curl under, and I'm going to have you sit back, stretch through the soles of the feet as you press strong into the floor with your hands. I'm going to have you come forward into knee plank and right back into that exhale, pushing back even stronger over the stretching through the feet. And one more time, forward to knee plank and then all the way back. And this time when you come into knee plank, I'm going to have you just ease your hips, swing them right to left, and come down slowly into your first cobra. So press your toenails down, and then lower your head as you exhale. Everybody, remind yourself, pull back on the shoulders, pull forward on the crown of the head, come back into cobra, it's a deep breathe, and then drop the head as you lower. So we're going to do that a few times. Keep your toenails down on the earth throughout. Keep your gluteals relaxed. Try to dominate the pose in the middle body. One more cobra. And then come down and push back into child's pose. Feet are pointed now. Arms are fully extended. Press into the earth. Push down with just your wrist and see if you can lift your fingers as high as you can. Take a deep breath. And exhale. Hips back as far as they can go. Beautiful. Let's come back to table. And thumbs are going to touch each other. And just try to line the thumbs up right below your heart. Flatten your spine. And when you're ready, one of your arms is going to reach to the ceiling. And you're going to hold this extension. Spread your fingertips. Beautiful. And come on down. And let's try it on the other side. Big breath. Look up. Great. And then half dog when you're ready. Just a nice, easy stretch out in front of you. Take a deep breath into your heart and let it lower down as you exhale. So my hips are right above my knees. At least it feels like they are. And then I'm allowing that extension on my spine and my heart to sink. And just feel a deep breath here. Again, making sure everything feels good to you. We'll be engaging the core next. And walking your hands back into a low squat at the back of the mat. So in low squats, some of us feel a sense of knee not being a, agreeing with this. So you can always come into a modification like I am now, elbows on your thighs. Gaze is forward. We're trying to hold. And then come into a forward fold and bow your head. We're going to do a series of these. So the squat you've chosen. Looking forward, deep breath, and then into a full fingertips touch down every time. So I just want you to continue that as you breathe here.
Bring your awareness to the back of your legs as you move them. And we're going to go into one more forward fold and remain here. Pop your toes up and roll your feet in and out. So to the outer edge and the inner edge. And again, finger pads are on the ground. Knees are probably bent and that's okay. And then go ahead, plant the toes and lift your heels as high as you can. Push down firmly with your toes, drop your heels, and then lift the top of your foot up. So toes up in the air, stretching. As you drop your toes, let's walk forward into Downward Facing Dog and spend a little time here just stretching back and noticing how good it feels to push the hip weight towards the back of your room and swing the hips right to left as you pedal. So nice work, just keep breathing. Try shaking your head. Good, and then let's try to stay in this down dog, but make it a little more still. Bend the knees and work on extending through the spine as you try to lift your hips further back. Drop your head. Notice where this feels good. One more round of breath. Let's see if our heels can drop just a little bit lower. Forward into plank next. Take your time. Again, those stretched fingers. Maybe even rock forward and back a few times to wake up the core a little more. Side to side is also a nice way to sort of wake up some of the energy of the core. And then we're going to drop the right knee right below the right hip and push back through the heel. Drop your head and just notice that calf stretching. I'm going to have you lift your left leg and look up. And let's see if we can add a right arm extension to this. So in this pose, we're really breaking and trying to feel the strength of our spine. Good. Drop that right hand down and tap the toe over to the side of your mat. Opposite side. And then just a brief turn of the head to look for that foot. Let's bring the leg back up nice and tall again. And then some of you will lean forward, maybe bring a small bend to narrow elbows. Some of you can bring your chin all the way down to the mat. And then back up to rising sunburn. So a big gaze up with the eyes. Drop your left toe. Either keep the knee down if you need a break or lift the knee up and find that strength in your lower abdominal wall as you lift here. Good, back to down dog. Swing your hips right to left for a few breaths. Inhale and exhale. Good, I'm gonna have you walk your hands back to your feet. Keep the toes and the fingertips down. Draw your head as close to your legs as you can. Beautiful, and then walk back into your plank. Nice work. Go ahead and lower your left knee down and lift your right leg up. Look forward. Feel that extension. And let's try the balance on the other side. So opposite arm lifts up. Find that extension. Hold it here. So when we hold a pose, it's about really developing even a stronger awareness of what's going on in the body. What do you feel? Where do you feel it? And how can your breath make you feel even better in the pose? So if we're holding our breath, we're really not finding the full expression of the pose. So that yoga breath becomes really the catalyst to connect to ourselves in a healthier way. Drop that hand down. Take that foot across to the opposite side of the mat and just take a brief look over there for a nice stretch in your hips. Back to rising sunbird, tall leg, look forward, lean forward, and maybe bring a small bend to your elbows, keeping them narrow, same width as your wrists, or maybe taking your chin all the way down. Pause for a moment, feel the struggle. Inhale back up into the rising sunbird, and then drop your toe back to down dog. Good, we're gonna walk our hands back to our feet. Take your time, big strong. When you land into your forward fold this time, let's go into some easy swings of 
of the upper body right to left. So I'm going to recommend that you keep your knees and ankles bent and loose, and then just really go for that range of motion that feels good to you. One more to each side, and then let's all come into a forward fold. Go ahead, hug those legs if you can today. All right, so in our forward fold, I'm going to have you bend your knees and unbend them a few times. And then I'm going to have you come into a bent knee, elbows on your thighs, and look at the top edge of your mat. So I want you to pull the tailbone even further back now. Press down with your elbows and try to lift your gaze right out ahead of you. Good. Press down with your heels now, with each toe bed. And then swing the arms over your head. We're all in chair. Good. In chair, we want to feel strong and powerful, but we want our breath to accompany that. So inhale, exhale. Brighten up those fingers. And on your next exhale, bring your hands right there in front of your heart. Good. Take a moment here to breathe. We're all going to lower our elbows right onto our thighs. Good. So some of you taking your time right here might just be where it's perfect for you, but we're going to do some opening poses next. So I want you to take your right hand over the top of your left thigh and push down considerably with both your hand and your right elbow. Lift your chest away from your hand, lifting the left hand to the ceiling and gazing up. So as I push down, I'm trying to draw myself away from that anchor of my right arm. Drop that arm down. Left elbow on the left thigh. Left hand pushes down. Make sure you feel the push. And then lift up strong with the right side of the torso and your right arm gazing up. The breath comes and goes here two times. Great, and come on down. Bring your hands all the way to the floor and back to a forward fold. And if you can, come right back into the knee bend. This time, you're going to take your fingers close to each other on the floor and do the same thing, holding the squat. So left arm up, left chest, look up. Push down with those right fingers. And then push down with the left fingers on the floor and lift the right side. So the legs are really warming up here. They're burning a bit. Welcome the burn. So that's all right. I'm working on creating some strength in my body today so I can go out and be a stronger, kinder human being. Drop those fingers down and back to a fold. Nice straight legs as you drop your head. And then we'll go ahead and walk back into down dog. Take your time. Pedal your legs again. From here, you're going to walk forward. So you can stay here for another breath or start that journey to the top of the mat into your fold. So if you need a block today, make sure it's there for you. It's just helping those legs and arms get a little more coordinated, right? Sometimes we just need that help. Once your head is down, give it a good shake. And we're going to roll up together. So first, press down through your feet and then roll up through your spine. Again, you can always place your hands on your lap if you need a little extra help. Let's go ahead and roll our shoulders. Nice big roll. So on your next breath, the shoulders are gonna come up and stay there. Feel it, squeeze, and then drop all the way back and down. Good, hands up this time. Hold up, lift, and squeeze with length in your whole body, and then let them come down behind you. So we're going to do a little bit of letting go before we get a little more powerful. I'm going to ask you to cross your right hand over your left down below. Pretend that you have an extra tight, too small t-shirt on today. And you're going to pick that layer up off you as you rise up with a deep breath. And then we're just going to let it go. So identify maybe something you need to let go of. Left hand over right this time. Inhale. Peel that tight layer of something you don't need off of you and let it go. Maybe that t-shirt's a little longer. Come reach down. Come all the way up even higher. Let it go. Feeling lighter already. Last time, left hand over right. Go as tall as you can before letting it go. 
Good. Place your hands on your lower back and just a little self-massage, especially around the lower back area. And then hold firmly against your kidneys, pull your elbows towards each other, and take a moment to look up. So I want you to feel the support of your hands on your lower back, press down through the feet, and then brace your core as you try to take this into a deeper back bend. So for some of you, that's just a small bend. We're not looking for pain. And for some of you, it's a big, backy, arching spine, just whatever really feels like it's welcome for you today. Finish up another breath. And then use your core and your hands together to lift you back to neutral. Slide over the top of your hips and down the front of your legs and bow. Let's come into a half lift next. Fingertips on your shins as you expand the spine, look out in front. And then fingertips on the floor, turn the toes out and come into a low squat or modified squat. So the modified would have been Again, knees and toes pointed out, elbows on your thighs. Looking forward, dropping the tailbone, and if you're all the way down, get those fingers on the floor instead. If you'd like to add a balance element, first engage the core, and then bring the arms high over your head. <sighs> Spread the fingers, face them forward like you are radiating all the kindness that you have inspired in your body today so far. Beautiful. Fingertips down, back into a fold. Legs are still wide. Let's move our toes until they're on the edge of our mat. And then hands flat on the floor and step your right leg straight back. So it's pretty wide. Drop the knee. Good. Left knee is pointing to the corner of the left room along with the toes. Pause here and let's go into a nice stretch of the left arm over your head. Heart opening, breath deep. Good, swing that arm all the way down and out in front of you and back up. And let it go behind you all the way around in a full scoop again. Hold here and then maybe pick up your right toe and place it down a few times. So if you're choosing to pick up the right toe, the toe behind you, Make sure you're on the top of the knee rather than on that kneecap. Keep the toe up, maybe come into a bind, grabbing that foot and looking behind you. If you can't grab your foot, just reach behind you and open up your heart as you breathe. Nice, bring that right elbow as you drop your right foot back in front of you and then gently push into the right inner thigh and then drop your right hand down. Good, curl your back toe under, lift the knee and step to the outside of your hand. Coming into your squat again, modified or full squat, with or without the balance, take a breath here. And then hands back to the floor, hips up and step your right foot back. You have a wide stance, drop that knee. And now your right toes and right knee are pointing to the right front corner of the room. Hips are relaxed forward, best you can. Could be you're using a block underneath your left hand. Right arm's gonna come up and you're gonna do a heart opening breath here. Focus on the energy of your heart and expand through stretched right fingers. Relax your hips however best you can. We're going to let our arm come down behind us, swing it out in front, and scoop up even higher, deep breath. And then again, inhale, come all the way up. Let's pause here and decide if maybe we can pick up that left toe up and down a few times. Some of you will just continue to lift and maybe reach back, and others of you will bind. The focus here is on the heart, expanding the energy of the heart as you open up and breathe. Expanding kindness, just hustling that body to locate and expand that strength of your kindness, your energy. Really nice. Take the toe down, reach the left arm back out in front of you, and then just take your left elbow and push into your left inner thigh for a breath. Good. Left hand back down. 
Take a moment, curl your back toe under, lift the knee, and then step to the top of the mat. Again, the modified squat looking forward or the full squat down with the balance. You're deciding. Hands to the floor, hips up, straighten out your heels and just rock right to left with your hips. And then let's heel toe the feet back together. Big toes together. Fingertips out in front of you. We're going to prop those hands up like tents in front of us. I'll back up a little bit here. And then I'm going to have you bend the knees, squeezing the knees together. So any part of this that just feels like it's an important space for you to remain in and breathe and feel strong, do that. And continue to lift and move with me, that kindness muscle, if you decide to move on. So right foot's going to come up in the air. And then we're going to move into a split. So the toe is as high as it can go today. And maybe the nose towards that left knee. Nice work. Go ahead and bring the knees together. Bend and look forward where we started. And then try to bring that right knee across and tuck it right behind the left knee. So some of you are going to stay right here. Maybe take your right shin to the floor and settle back. So this is a bigger pose. Again, do what's right for you. From whatever pose you're in, we're going to come back to the split. So push into the standing left foot and take your time to stretch back up. Dropping your nose back to your knee. Look forward, bring both knees together, big toes down on the floor together, and bow into the legs with a nice fold. Maybe grabbing your calves for your next breath. And then let's do the other side. Fingertips tent down on the floor. Bend the knees into a squat. Stay here. This is option one. Just keep building strength in your legs. Keep extending through the crown of your head to the front of the room. Or slowly pick up the left foot and come as high as you can into a split. Some of you can bring your nose down into your knee. Keep lifting that left toe as high as you can today. And again, making the attempt to bring your nose as close to your right leg as you can. Good. Let's bring our knees back together. Slow inhale, exhale. Keep the foot up and cross the left knee behind the right. Squeeze that back of that left knee into the right. Stay here. Or come all the way down onto your shin and sit back over your heel. Again, range of motion is one that sometimes is more available to us than other times. Just take your time with it. Wherever you are from there, you're going to push down a little stronger into your right foot and guide that left toe up to the split again and maybe the nose back to the knee. One more breath here. Good. Knees to knees. So knees come together. And then big toes to big toes. Good. Stay here in a forward fold or squat into those bent knees again. This time bringing the arms behind you with a parallel spine to the earth. Back those knees up. Pull the tailbone slightly out and away from your head. Swing down to the floor and come into chair. Inhale. Exhale, come back into that parallel spine. Modifiers, just don't drop the back. Keep it upright. Just swinging the arms back instead of a parallel spine. We have one more inhale. Parallel spine or upright. And then bring your hands up over your head for a deep breath. Into your heart. And pause. Good. Let's take a moment to gaze straight ahead. Maybe take a moment just to feel your right leg rooting as we create a nice balance pose next. We're all going to use our right foot as our standing foot. Push down in your toes, your inner, your outer heel. Lift your head as high as you can and just lift level one, the knee, so the toe is still on the floor. Level two, the knee is up. Choose some arms that make you feel strong today. So. Cactus is nice, extended arms, hands to your heart, whatever that is. If your toe is down, we're still working on being primarily in the right leg. 
Good, I'm gonna have you externally rotate. So try not to change the trunk, just the left hip. And then step behind that right foot. Hold here, push into your left toes, drop your right hand on your waist, and take a nice stretch to the right side of the room with that left arm. Come back up with your right hand on your next breath. Feel extension in the spine, brace your core, pick that knee right back up. So if the toe's on the floor, modification, or all the way up, and then bring it back to center, hold here, and then cross it in front of that right foot. Good, same stretch, right hand on your hip, push into the left toes and draw that left arm over your head. Good, inhale back up, hold here, push down with your right foot, lift up with the left knee in front of you, stay here or try extension on the left leg, all the way out in front, flare the toes, breathe. One more breath, Join me in mountain pose when you're ready and just shake it off. Get ready for a deep breath, stretching over your head. Hands into the heart, pause here. Get used to just checking in with the left leg first and then making it stronger. Pressing down with the left foot, lifting the right heel or right knee when you're ready. As you continue to lengthen and breathe and feel strong, Bring the arms into arms that feel good to you today. What does that mean? So be a little creative because kindness is creative. It's strong, it's powerful, but it needs that awareness. Just like everything else in our life, we need to stay focused in the positive, in kindness. When you're ready, external rotation. If your toe is on the floor, it'll look more like this. Try not to move the trunk, just the right hip. On your exhale, drop that right toe behind the left and push into the floor. Coming into that side bend, left hand on your waist, reaching up. So we are going to have a challenge of kindness if you so choose to take it. Take a deep breath, be kind to that right body as you open it. Good, and your arm's gonna come up. Hold extension, brace your core, bring the knee back up again, modification, toe down, otherwise nice and high. Good, and then bring it in, hold here, hold, squeeze even further across, drop your toe, and into that side bend again, feel the whole body open. So for the next seven days, starting today with all this kindness that you have hustled up in your body, I'm going to ask you, doesn't matter how small, how little, try to create some kindness energy in your life. Just reach back up, bring the knee back up, maybe extend the leg as we hold here. So maybe you're going to phone somebody you haven't phoned in a while or send them a kind text. Maybe you're going to buy a little extra something at the grocery store. Toilet paper's a good idea now if you can find it. And drop it off for a neighbor. Yeah, and come and join me back in Mountain Pose. So we know that kindness is a contagion. So if you choose to do something kind today, and those that do the same, if we do something kind and they in turn do something kind, we know by the end of the day there could be as much as 125 kindnesses expanded in our day in this community of yours. So what can you do no matter how small? Be kind. It's a good way to stop being stuck. Just find a way to do good. Hands to the heart. Notice your breath, notice the flow. Stretch the hands together over your head. We're gonna slow things down. Notice how good you feel. Drop the tailbone, reach even higher. And then a soft spine down into a fold. So we're almost done with our practice today. We're gonna go ahead and 
Come on down into a squat, hands behind your legs. Bring the soles of the feet together and gently fold forward in your cobbler pose, head down. Take a breath that seems to open up the spine, stretch the muscles of your back as you keep your head down low to your toes. And then let's just roll up, bring the feet out nice and wide, and then take your time to roll back in to the mat with your spine. So I'm going to ask you to tuck that tailbone and use your core. If you're wanting some real strength in the core, take the slowest journey down that you can today. If you need a little extra help, feel free to drop those elbows down and work the arms back towards your feet as you lower your head down. Once you've landed, let's just go into some gentle swings of the knees right to left with your feet on the floor. And do the same with your arms. So the arms are windshield wiping over the top and down to the floor. As you inhale and exhale in the opposite direction. And then choose to land on whatever side you are now and pause. So the hand that's over the chest, I want you to just place your hand on your heart. Just a nice mindful pause there. Feel your own heartbeat. And from that hand on your heart, reach behind you with both arms. And let that energy expand. And then drop the hands back to neutral. Knees up to the other side. Arms reach to the opposite side. Look across. The hand that's over the chest, place that hand now on your heart as you take a deep breath in and out here. Feel your heartbeat. Feel that kindness that you have hustled today. Inspired, expanded. Take that hand on your heart and reach back. Other arm as well. Meet back in a stretch. Take your time. And then hands back to neutral, knees up. Let's draw the knees both into the chest, wrapping either underneath the knees or over the shins for a deep breath. Turn your head gently right to left. Just imagine that knowing that you can start a contagion of kindness with your actions today, how powerful that is. What can you do, no matter how small, that can just inspire others to be kind as well. We're all in this together. We're all in this together. Let's make the best of it. Look up at the ceiling. Let's prepare for our Shavasana. When you're ready, feet in a pose that work for you. Constructive hip pose, feet are wide on the edges of the mat, knees are bent, knees are falling in. Or maybe your legs are stretched out. Just do what feels good to you. Let's end with one of our hands on our heart and close your eyes. Drop into a restful stillness. Eyes are closed. Breathe in kindness. Breathe out kindness. So we know kindness is not an action that stays still, but does create a multiple pool of change, like dropping a stone into a still lake. The ripples that lead away from that first moment of kindness outward. So those that receive, feel, and enjoy, and expand, and those that give also are on the benefit side of things. It really is a win-win. Seven days of complete focus. Seven days of purposefully being kind in some way, big or small. My challenge to you.
Follow three more gentle breaths in and out as you pause here. stretch. If you'd like, stay in your Shavasana. And if you're ready to get moving, come back into a seated pose, joining me. Hands together at your heart. Press the back of the thumbs right there at your heart, as if to impress upon yourself the hustle of kindness that you created within you. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for being a part of this day. Namaste.